did. And next door to me there was Wittgenstein, who lived on the same staircase, and he always cooked for himself too. And so I used to cook my supper with the smell of fish from Wittgenstein's <laughs> room next door. <laughs> and you got to get to know him? Then? A little bit. Of course, Wittgenstein was a, a man who loved to torture people, and, and uh, so he invited me into his rooms one day. This was the closest contact I ever had with him, in fact. I mean, we, we passed each other very often on the stairs without speaking, but once he suddenly invited me into his rooms and said, would you like to come and have a cup of coffee? And so I was thrilled. I said, yes, I'll certainly come. And so I came in there, and there was one chair, and he invited me to sit down in it. And it was a canvas deck chair, which meant I was practically lying horizontally on this canvas chair and he was standing uncomfortably waiting for me to say something and, and so I, 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 I found it acutely embarrassing but in any case I'd come in and so I thought I might as well try and so eventually I decided I would start a conversation so I said to him well you know I read the Tractatus and I'd be interested to know whether you still believe the things you said in the Tractatus and or have you changed your mind and, and uh, so Wittgenstein looked at me very very in a hostile fashion and he said tell me please which newspaper do you represent <laughs> That was the end of the conversation, and so I, after an, there was another long silence, and then I drank the coffee and left. So I didn't get much out of Wittgenstein. I, I, I had the impression he was simply a charlatan. He loved to torture people, and he was, of course, a, a, always extremely insulting to women. He couldn't tolerate women coming to his lectures, and he would just simply be so rude that they had, uh, had to leave. And so a thoroughly, dis thoroughly disagreeable character. And apart from the Tractatus, I never read any of his stuff, so I shouldn't judge him, but mm -hmm. I think I consider him anyway uh, overrated as a philosopher. And 